This is the 2003 question on matrices and what we were asked to do is perform some matrix multiplications and also some scalar multiplications and some matrix addition and subtraction. The first thing we're going to do is look at part A and show that AB and BA are not equal. So we've got two matrix calculations here to do. So I'm not going to explain what matrix calculation is uh, in depth. I'm just going to sort of uh, explain the approach I take. What I'm going to do here is take the uh, first off just to sort of state first off that we have a 3 by 3 matrix and that this is also a 3 by 3 matrix. AB is necessarily going to be a 3 by 3 matrix and BA is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix also. Again, if you're not familiar or aware that those uh, statements are coming from, I suggest look at a previous video, um, a sort of video where I explain matrix multiplication out fully. This is a demonstration of an, ex uh, an example for a particular question. So, A, uh, A, B. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the top row of A and we're going to multiply it by each column of B. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to write, this is AB first off. And so top row of A, 0, and I'm going to leave a space so we can do multiplications. So that's the one for the first column of B. Likewise, the second column of B. And then finally, the third column of B. And we're going to do that for, that's the top row, and we're going to do that for each row of A. So we're going to do it again for 2, a row 2, which is values 2, 1, and 2. And again, we're going to multiply that row by each column of, each of the three columns of B. That's why we have, we're re replicating the, the, this, these statements three times. And bottom, last row, 1 plus 2 plus 0, 1 plus 2 plus 0, 1 plus 2 plus 0. Now, that's it set up. What we're going to do here is multiply by each, each, each of those by each row by each column. Okay, so this is the first row we're going to take, and it has the values 1, 2, and 1. So this is the first column, 1, 2, and 1. 1, 2, and 1. And 1, 2, and 1. This is the second column here, so it goes in the second column below. 0, 1, and 2. So 0, 1, and 2. 0, 1, and 2. 0, 1, and 2. And finally, the last column... 1, 0, 1, so we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 0, 1. So that's the mid, um, the row column uh, multiplication set up for A, A times B. So all we have to do now is just uh, solve these simple calculations. So here we have 0 plus 4 plus 1, that's equal to 5. Um, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. 1 plus 4 plus 0 is equal to 5. Uh, over here we have 0 plus 2 plus 2, that's equal to 4. Uh, 0 plus 1 plus 4, that's equal to 5. 0 plus uh, 2 plus 0, that's equal to 2. Uh, here we, on the top corner, there we have 1. Here we have uh, 2, plus 1 plus, uh, 2 plus 0 plus 2, that's equal to 4. And finally, over here, we have just 1. So A, B is equal to that. Now what we have to do is calculate B times A. So we have to do the whole thing over again. So actually, up at, up here, I'm just going to make a mental, a quick note of what this is. And then I can scrub out the bottom half of the page. Um, I might have made a slight error here somewhere. 
I don't think I have, but just in case I have, there might be a slight error here in in terms of I might have missed a a, a zero or something like that. It looks good, but just in case. Uh, so that's I'm just going to pause now, and I'll do B times A. So B times A. What we're going to do is the same operation, but in reverse. So we're going to pick out the top row of B, 1, 0, 1, and we're going to multiply that by every column of A. So again, I'm going to do a very similar sort of uh, thing here. I'm going to set up for the multiplication. Uh, so I'm going to sort of write the top row of uh, B with these spaces here that allow for the multiplication. And we're going to, we're going to have a 3 by 3 matrix. So that's the top row. The second row is 2 plus 1 plus 0. You don't really need to put in the 0 times, but it's just for the sake of traceability uh, later on when you're going over this uh, calculation that you can sort of follow what I've I've done and then know to let it eat just then just, then you know to disregard it but you've sort of seen um you've sort of seen where it comes from now uh that's the so that's the calculation set up now we're going to multiply uh these by every the, these uh rows by columns so this is the first row of a and it's 0 2 1 0, 2, and 1, 0, 2, and 1. Sorry, first column of A. There we go. Second column of A, we'll use green. 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. And finally, the last column there, 1, 2, 0. 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0. 1, 2, 0. Okay, and now all we have to do is evaluate them. So, 0 plus 0 plus 1, that's equal to 1. 0 plus uh, 2, that's equal to 2, plus 0. 0 plus uh, 4 plus 1, that's equal to 5. Okay, next column, uh, 2 plus 0 plus 2, that's equal to 4. 4 plus 1 plus 0, that's equal to 5. 2 plus 2 plus 2, that's equal to 6. Over here we have 1 plus 0 plus 0, that's equal to 1. 2 plus 2 plus 0, that's equal to 4. And finally, down the bottom corner, we have 1 plus 4 plus 0, that's equal to 5. So if we look at BA and AB, uh, let's just write them both side by side, or close, close enough to each other. 1, 2, and 5, 4, 5, and 6, and 1, 4, and 5. We see pretty clearly that they are not equal to each other. They contain some of the same values, or a lot of the same values, but they're not equal to each other. So A and B, A times B is not equal to B times A. Okay, so that's the first one done. It's, it's a good bit of work there. So that's the first part done. The next part is find the matrices C, D, and E. So I'm just going to clear the screen, and we'll start up here again. So the first one is B plus C equals A, and we have to find the matrix C. So B plus C equal to A. Now, what we're interested in C, so we can actually rearrange this expression to uh, state uh, C equals A minus B. Okay, so what we're going to do here to calculate this, this is a uh, matrix subtraction, and matrix subtraction is a very straightforward matter. What we're going to do here is, from each element of A, we're going to sub subtract the corresponding element from B. So this is equal to, I'll just do it up here actually, just to sort of save room for later, 0, I'll, I'll just paint in a few first off, 0 minus 1, so that's 0 minus 1, that gives us minus 1. The next one is, I'll do it here in green, 2 minus 0, that gives us 2. And final, uh, uh, this next one here, 1 minus 1, that gives us 
zero. So that's how we uh, perform um, matrix calculation or matrix subtraction. We just uh, subtract the corresponding values. So two minus two that gives us zero. One uh, minus one that gives us zero. And two minus zero that gives us two. So these are I'm just using this, the the same columns here just underneath now. Uh, one time one minus one is zero. Two minus two is zero. And zero actually I'll just color this one in again. Zero minus one that's uh, zero minus one is minus one. So that is what C is equal. So that there is C. C is equal to that. Okay. Now the next one is interesting. The next one is what matrix? Is, what uh, matrix is this here? D. Now this is a quick trick question. It's not really a calculation that we have to perform. It is the identity matrix. Okay. Uh, so it's an identity matrix. Uh, just as a remark. B is a three by three matrix, so the identity matrix D is it uh, going to be a three by three identity matrix? So we'll actually just specify that there as well. D is a three by three identity matrix. So the answer is looks like this. The, the right the reason we know it is a three by three identity matrix is because well, first off, it has to be a square matrix, as in the number of rows has to equal the number of columns. But also B is a three by three identity matrix. So this is the, uh, the identity matrix. So D will look like this. Uh, one, zero, zero, top row, zero, one, zero, and zero, zero, one. Okay, and just notice that the, uh, I'll do it here, I'll highlight it here, that we have low, uh, zeros everywhere except the main diagonal. So the main diagonal contains ones. Other than that, the values are zero. That is the identity matrix. So that's the answer to the second one. The last one here is B minus E equals 2A. So here we have to do another sort of a uh, bit of uh, calc uh, rearrangement of the calculation. So B uh, minus E equals 2A. So what we can do is rearrange this expre uh, expression. Add e to both sides. We have b equals 2a plus e. So if we add e to this side, we get plus e minus e. So they just cancel out. And now we can subtract 2a from both sides. b minus 2a is equal to e. So essentially what we have to do is calculate this here. b minus 2a. So... I'm just going to sort of clear the screen here for a second. So B minus 2A, so I'm going to uh, write this out fully because I just actually, sorry, I should uh, actually clear this as well to make it easier to read, follow what we're doing. B, so we have 1 minus 2A. I'll actually go, I'll do all of these out just to sort of, seeing as we've got the room for it now, is 2, sorry, 1, Minus 2 times 0. 1 minus 2 times 0. Uh, 0 minus 2 times 2. And 1 minus 2 times 1. Okay. So I just sort of highlight this is the 0 here, the 2 here, and the 1 here. That's these values here. And the green, uh, in green here, 1, 0, and minus 1. That's the top row of B. So that's sort of what I'm doing here. Next thing we do, I'll just the next row, 2 minus 2 times 2. Um, 1 minus 2 times 1. And 0 minus 2 times 2. Finally, bottom row, 1 minus 2 times 1. And 2 minus 2 times 2. And finally, 1 minus 2 times 0. So essentially, E is the answer to this. So all I have to do now is solve that out. And again, I'll make a little bit of room for myself just down here. And so 
the, the calculation is now very easy, so it, we should just take a second now and we'll finish it up. Two minus two to, uh, one minus two times zero, that's just one. Zero minus two times two, that's so that's minus four. One minus two, that's minus one. Two minus four, two times two is uh, four, so that's minus two. Two times uh, one minus two times one, that's minus one. Uh, 0 minus 2 times 2, that's 0 minus 4, minus 4. 1 minus 2 times 1, that's minus 1. 2 minus uh, 2 times 2, that's 2 minus 4, which is minus 2. And 2 minus 2 times, one. sorry, 1 minus 2 times 0 is just 1. So E is this matrix here. Anyway, that ends the presentation. That's a lot of work done.